All right, there's a lot to cover with the six chord. First of all, it's your go-to minor. Uh, it's the most common minor chord. It's in that famous progression one, five, six, four. Uh, it's in lots of songs. It, you know, uh, Leonard Cohen's Hallelujah, one of the most covered songs. It, it just goes from one to six a bunch in the in the verses. <laughs> Remember before when I said we were playing in C and I was on the five. I was talking about how this is like the dominant chord. It really wants to go to the one. But you can play with the expectation of that. And, and I remember I went to it and then I said, surprise. And I went to the sixth chord instead. I went to the A minor instead. Well, whether you remember it or not, I did. And that is literally called a surprise cadence in music theory. When you go from the five instead of to the one, the major one in a, in a key, you go to the six, which is minor. Now it's considered a cadence, but cadence is about returning home, right? Well, six isn't your home, one is your home. And yet it kind of works. Why? It works because Earlier, I, in a even earlier video, I said every major key has what's called a relative minor key, which is, well, in a major key, the one chord is going to be a major chord, C major, for instance. Well, in a minor key, the one chord is going to be minor. But, get this, the relative minor of any major key shares all the same notes with it. All the same notes and all the same chords. Because you make chords the same way, whether you're talking about major or minor. You just take your scale and you just go root three, five, and you make chords. How is that possible? Like this. Excuse me. Let's take C major, for example. Here's your C note. Play through the scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Now, let's go to the six, and instead of starting on this six up here, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, instead of starting here, uh, first of all, what is that note? It's an A. I'm gonna start on this one below the C, okay? And then I'm gonna just work my way up and then play through that same C major scale, but I'm gonna count starting from the six. One, two, three, four, five, six, It's a minor scale. All I did was I started on the six of a major scale. Bob's your uncle, you're in a minor key. So let's treat that A, which is the, the chord that's built off of the six note. What's the six chord? It's A minor. Let's treat that as the one, but use all the same chords. like we're in A minor land, but we're also in C major land. At any moment, you could go. Boom. Every major land is a minor land. Every major key is also a minor key. Okay, you're in the same place and you can move between them because it's, you're just, it's just it's a matter of emphasis, right? It's a matter of like, let's look mainly at these features of the land instead of these features of the land, but it's the same land, it shares all the same features. You can hit all the same features, just a matter of emphasis. Now, let's say you really want to emphasize, maybe even temporarily for fun, because this is an easy way to uh, play with modulation, which is moving from one key to another. Let's say you want to temporarily or permanently feel like you're in A minor land instead of C major land. Well, there's one surefire way of doing it, and there's a lot of surefire ways of doing that, but for now, what's the most powerful cadence we've come up with? The most powerful cadence we've come up with is a five to one. And it just is, it's, yeah. Right? So 
what would be 5 1 if your sixth chord was the 1? So if A minor is the 1, what would be the 5 of it? Well, again, to keep it simple, we're still kind of in C major. We get all our notes from that same scale for now. So um, if 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, if that's your 1 or here, let's count up from there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's an E. And if we were in C and we counted up from C, that same note would be what? 1, 2, 3, 3. is going to have its own video, but just watch this. We're going to take that three chord, which sounds great going to going from the three to the six. It feels almost like a dominant chord. Like, yeah, that's, that's good. It feels like pretty definite. All right, that's great. But if you really want to make it definite, just make it a major. Make that dominant a major. You feel that? Now you're really in A minor land. There's no question about it. And yet, back in C. Try this. Play in C. We're definitely in C. There's no question about it. It's a C major song. You can hear it already. There's no, no doubt. It's A minor. You're in A minor. So you can play around with that and it's super cool. So um, yeah, the six is a relative minor with the one. Now also notice when, when you're in, you're playing like Hallelujah or something, you're going from the one to the six chord. It doesn't feel like a cadence at all. Like remember how five one is like definitely a cadence? Six to one. It's almost just like a sidestep, you know? It's not like you're falling back to, back home to the one. It's just like you're kind of putting pressure on one foot and then the other foot, and you're just kind of moving like this. Minor, major, minor, major, but we're in the same place, you know? So that's kind of a cool thing about the six. Pretty much any time you're going to the one chord in a major key, you could go to the six instead. 